Hello and welcome to this Chartered Accountants News Special. My name is Ronan O'Brien. I'm the Director of Communications at the Institute and I'm here today to discuss the recently published Institute Strategic Review for 2011 to 2015 with Council Member Stephen Prenter, Chairman of the Strategy Development Board. Welcome, Stephen. Thank you, Ronan. Stephen, why a strategic review and why now? Well, two reasons, Ronan. Uh, firstly, the Institute Council has had a, a practice of reviewing its strategic plan every five years. The last time was 2.05, so this is the appropriate time to do so. But secondly, uh, and from a more compelling point of view, uh, the environment within which chartered accountants are operating and this institute works has changed dramatically uh, in the last few years. Uh, and, and the reputation of chartered accountants has come very much into the public arena. It's headlines in the newspapers, it's headlines in the news. So this is a very appropriate time to review the longer term planning of the Institute. And Stephen, what are the, the key findings or themes of the, the report? The report comes up with uh, five themes, Ronan, uh, of which the primary one is repairing the reputation of chartered accountants and this institute. So the research that we've done on it, it has been a research intensive uh, period for the Strategy Development Board and the interviews that we've uh, conducted have led us to the conclusion that uh, while chartered accountancy and the chartered accountant are very much held in high regard in the business life and in the community, Nonetheless, that reputation is under some challenge. We've seen the global recession, the banking crisis here in Ireland, and we're in an era where accounts are now understood more by the public, or rather, they're asking questions about those financial statements, about the value of the audit. We all know of the audit ex expectation gap. So there are more and more challenges facing us as chartered accountants. And we think uh, a more active uh, stance is now required. Hence the word repair, reputation. It's a call to arms. It's a call to every member to be sure that they act with integrity, with professional excellence, giving fairness throughout their life. And it's a call to the Institute to stand up for those members and to let the public know just what chartered accountancy is about, what the financial statements mean and what the audit means. And there are real challenges in there. Okay, Stephen. Well, one of the interesting um, aspects of the report is a section on uh, widening access or rendering more flexible access to the profession. What was the board's thinking on, on this issue? Uh, there was quite a lot of work uh, done here uh, and like most of uh, the themes uh, there were specific working groups put out there to meet all the key players, uh, be they in business, uh, the big four, smaller practices. Uh, and what we found is that uh, the Institute uh, needs to be more innovative in our approach to education. Chartered accountants have produced business leaders, uh, professional leaders in the past, and we want to continue that uh, trend. Uh, there are, chartered accountancy is a profession that is in high demand, and we want to keep the quality of the entrant at a very high level. But uh, we need to be more flexible. So the big four uh, have uh, asserted that the current training mechanisms suit them very well. But smaller firms and indeed members in business uh, uh, have been telling us that they need to see change. We need to be more flexible, we need to be more adaptive. And there are recommendations in this report to deal with that. One of the findings uh, that members' eyes may be drawn towards is this recommendation in relation to costs um, the board has been quite specific there, hasn't it? Yes, it has. Uh, we're calling for a, a reduction in member fees. And you're right, we've been very specific. We're calling for a 20% reduction in member subscriptions over a five-year period. Uh, indeed, 
in the new year of 2011, steps have already been taken and members' fees have reduced on the previous year. You might think this is a, a narrow uh, area, but uh, the Strategic Development Board findings are such that we've moved this into one of the five key themes. So there's a very clear call for better value for money, for more efficiency for the Institute, and a clear message to the executive in the Institute that members out there expect better value and they expect the Institute to manage its costs efficiently. Okay, thank you very much, uh, Stephen. And as a member of the Institute of the Executive, I can confirm that the board's message in relation to costs have been uh, well and truly heard. I'd like th to thank Stephen for joining us today. Um, the full report from the Strategy Development Board is available for download on this page, and I, I'd encourage as many of you as possible uh, to do that. Thank you very much. Thank you, Ronan.